Hello guys, today I want to show you a small project with belongs to many relationships between the same table. So imagine you have a user list and you want to follow some user, which means that every user can follow another user, which makes it a pivot table belongs to many, many to many relationship from user to user. How to do it all? how to structure the fields, how to structure the relationship. And also as a side note, I will show you live wire component to do something like this. You click follow, you click unfollow without refreshing of the page. Let's dive in. First, the database structure. So we have the users table default from Laravel, and we need to create that pivot table user user, it would seem, because if we read the official Laravel documentation, the name of the pivot table, the default name should be something like role user, so singular form of each table alphabetically. So in our case, it would be user underscore user, which is quite confusing and doesn't really say what the table is about. Is it about following? Is it about banning some user from each other or something else? But we can name the table however we want. Actually, we just need to add a few more parameters in the eloquent model. So in the migration, we name the table user follower. And all that table will consist of is two fields, foreign ID, follower ID, references to the users. So this is where we cannot use foreign ID constraint. The short syntax for constraint would be that the field would be the same as table just with underscore ID. In our case, it's not the case. So we name the field, then we reference ID on users. So this part is absolutely identical. It's just the field name is different follower and following. And then in the eloquent model, if we open the user model, we have two belongs to many functions. So we define belongs to many to user class by the table user follower, but this order of fields is different. So it's good that my PHP storm shows those helper texts. So foreign pivot key is following ID and related pivot key is follower ID. So for each user, we can get the followers of that user and the following, so who he is following. And the name in here is really important because that's the only way we can be clear about what are we querying. Then to get to this page, we just need in our controller to get all the users. And if the user is logged in, then we filter out the user themselves. So we don't show that ID of auth ID. And then inside each of that row will have live wire components. So for each of the users, this will be a live wire component to follow user. So this will be a button with user ID as a parameter. And inside of that live wire component, this is where we will use that belongs to many relationship. So we'll have a variable inside of that live wire component, whether I'm following that user or not, depending on that. So if I'm following that user, and in the database, actually, when I click that, let's take a look, refresh user follower. So I do have follower ID 11, which is my user and following ID is who am I following. So for each of those components, this button will have a variable following or not. And this is defined by auth user. So current user following contains that user ID or not. And then in that user follow blade, we will have a button of follow or unfollow. So if empty following or not, then in any case, we do wire click to follow method. And that follow method works like this. If I'm following, then detach the user ID from belongs to many relationship, otherwise attach, and then change the value of that variable following or not following or back. So that's it, a small example, and I will link the GitHub repository in the description below so you can check that out. It was also a small lesson on Livewire. If you're not familiar with Livewire, it's really easy to start, and I have a separate course on that, so you can check that out at my laraveldaily.teachable.com, along with other 20 or more courses, and maybe you would subscribe to yearly membership because I will keep shooting new courses in 2022 and probably beyond. See you guys in other videos.